we were joining this wonderful, wonderful family. Um, and so there was some solace, there was support, there was all this nurturing going on. It was really, really beautiful. When you look back to the teaching of that time, were there any particular characteristics that you realized were beginning to become associated with all of them? Oh, yes. Um, I mean, we all, there are all, there are classic things that Mr. Mitchell would tell us and would say, and if you would say this to any dancer at dance, they probably would tip of the big bad toe. <laughs> now, I all of us know what that means. It's like to the very end of your toe and the tip of the third finger. I mean, we know where to place that, what that line looks like. We spent hours with Mr. Franklin on that, that diagonal in Giselle. <laughs> Every single girl knows that third finger is not correct. Hours. Just, I mean, I'm talking about the attention to detail, right? This is something that was really, really instilled in us. And at the time, that's just the way it was. There was no grumbling, no anything. That's, we're going to be here for two hours until all 32 of you have that line. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so so that, that happened to all of our teachers. The teachers that would come and teach class who would come from New York City Valley, we could just see where it came from because they all said the same thing. Um, and so, and when we go and, and watch our, our colleagues teach, we all say the same thing. And people are the other it's like, who's more like Mr. Mitchell? You know, we all think it's Baby and Barnes, but um, we all do the same thing. And it's just we pass on. It's, it's what's expected. It's what's required to have the kind of success that we have. I, I would just like to say, I'm surprised that um, he was like that because uh, he was uh, very precise and very disciplined and very impeccable in uh, all the ballets in those early days that I watched and was with him. And uh, maybe you have to blame me for some of that because um, the third finger being exactly where it was because even though Arthur didn't want me to tell this story, um, <laughs> we were working on uh, my very first ballet um, to premiere Arcade by John Terrence, and it was Stravinsky music. And first of all, Arthur was very kind to put up with the young girl from the court of ballet because he was already a principal dancer. And we were working on this pas de deux that was my first time really doing anything uh, of that importance, let alone with a principal dancer. And we were working on this pirouette combination, and I was turning, and suddenly I hit him in the face with my elbow so hard, I thought I'd turn around and see him on the floor. And uh, he said, uh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. And, you know, he, I, he must have really been in a lot of pain, but he was kind and we went on for the rest of the day and the premier came and such a gentleman, he um, sent me a dozen red roses and uh, a lovely card. I have them in my scrapbook. I thought about bringing them here, <laughs> but uh, with a lovely note saying, it's okay, hit me as much as you want. <laughs> So I'm not surprised that, you know, uh, he was that disciplined and uh, that he, um, because you can't demand of people what you don't give. And he was, that was just in his nature to be that giving and that uh, precise because he, he loved ballet, as we all do. It's been good to us and we want to be good, good back to it. But, uh, and I didn't know what I would find when I went up to Dance Theatre of Harlem to teach all of you, but you were, you were um, amazing. She did um, work with me on Concerto Barocco, all of them so jazzy, and uh, beautiful feet, and turned out. It was, it was a wonderful experience. It was another way of discovering the ballet. I've taught the ballet many times, but it was different, different kind of energy and uh, very beautiful to be a part of it. Uh, one thing I, uh, that's always stood out for me at Dance Theater, um, in addition to our wonderful technical training that we received and the attention to detail that, um, that Karen was speaking of, um, we always, Mr. Mitchell has always instilled in us that to do the steps is not enough. And I learned this uh, lesson the hard way, actually, uh, 
when I was very new to the company. Uh, we were doing Serenade, I don't remember what city we were in, and I was, being new to the company, was, had not yet been put into the ballet. And I was learning a, a section of the girls, and uh, another girl in a different section uh, got injured in the rehearsal. And uh, they asked me, well, do you know it? Can you go in? And I said, well, yes, I can learn it, and I can go in. And I, I learned it, and I, you know, I worked with the dancers, and I worked with the ballet mistress, and you know, I had every single step. And when the curtain went up, I did every single step, and I did not miss a step for the entire performance. And I was, but the curtain came down. I was so proud of myself. I said, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, as the curtain comes down, Mr. Mitchell comes back after every ballet and gives us notes uh, about what we did well and what needs to be approved for that particular ballet from that performance. And I knew in the back of my head he was going to probably congratulate me. <laughs> and all I heard were heels coming backstage. And I thought, okay, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> he came up to me and he said, What was that? He said, You look like a deer in the headlights. You, he said, Yeah, yeah the, steps, the steps were fine. But, but you looked like you, 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 you were just looking, your eyes were huge, and you were looking to the left and the right. And I said, all the other girls had a beautiful, serene, smile on their face, and you, you were looking like, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to ever see you out there looking like that. And believe me, that is the, I mean, I went home, I cried, and I was like, hey, I didn't miss a step, and I can't believe you said that to me. I can't believe it. But believe me, that was the last time I ever went on that stage without uh, some type of performance quality, no matter whether I did the step or not. <laughs> that, was, that was one note he never, ever had to give me again. And that was something that was very important, not only to Mr. Mitchell, but to, to everyone at dance theater, that the steps were not just enough. And wasn't, that was one, also one of the things, I think, that differentiated us from, from other companies that we were, as Mr. Mitchell always pointed out, we were the dance theater of Harlem. And it wasn't all about, only about pointing your feet and turning out and, and stretching and, and hitting the line. There was a, a certain performance quality that we were expected to give. And we knew that it was important not only because we wanted to please Mr. Mitchell, but it was important for our artistic growth to be able to do that and to be able to perform in that way.